Good morning, Arizona. Those of you who practice yoga know it's a really time uh, for to take for yourself, to relax, center your mind, and maybe take in some art. That's new. A new St Scottsdale studio is offering gallery yoga to support charity. So Jamie Serretta is checking it out uh, for your local love. It's the Walter Art Gallery in South Scottsdale. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You know, this is really the center of creativity of so many kinds and in this area where I am we're just talking about the art and the yoga and the art of yoga as well. You take a look around you see a class that's happening right now and this is because uh, energy is important to the people who operate this space here and this is uh, really just one arm of so many projects here. Uh, take a look right here this is the Walter Project the 100 year plan and they have so many things and it all kind of started right here with Walter. So to learn more about what's happening here, I have Kate Swarm with me. Uh, first of all, who on earth is Walter? So Walter is really the art car yes. that started it all. It's the name of the world's largest Volkswagen bus. And back in 2003, we reclaimed him from a Walter crash truck and made him into this rolling piece of art that brings joy wherever he goes. I heard he was helping to launch off the Phoenix Open last night. He was he, at a party. Uh, he was, <laughs> absolutely. So this space all kind of started with uh, Burning Man art cars. And if you haven't been to Burning Man or know much about it, it's really where such big, big art is created with moving parts. So you're talking about engineers, artists, so many people have to have to come together to create this space. We're gonna show you where Walter was worked on across the street, but let's talk about the yoga because the yoga is one way that many of us can get involved uh, and kind of learn more about what's happening here. Absolutely, so we're here at Gallery Yoga and you can find our schedule. We have classes every day at galleryyoga.com. And what we think is important is not only your state of inner being, but how you're affected by the environment around you. And there's nothing that's more inspiring than art. So it makes sense that we're here doing yoga in an art gallery to support a non-profit cause. And surrounded by art. And Ricky, I want to spin you around so we can take a look at some of the artwork that's on the walls because you feature different artists. Uh, how often do you swap the artists out and who are we looking at here? Every six weeks we get introduced to a new show. And right now we have Stratums here by two artists, local artists, Tom Ortega and Jeff Davis. Tell me about how we can find out how to take classes. You're at 64th Street in Thomas. It's called Gallery Yoga, uh, but the building says the Walter Art Gallery. Yes, so, so these classes are housed inside the Walter Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. So you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram. If you would like to take classes, again, just visit galleryyoga.com. And it's about $10, right? 10 bucks? Just $10. Okay. I want to walk you over here because when I see you again in the 9 o'clock hour, we're going to show off uh, where Walter was built and kind of more the outreach programs that they have here. Because look at this, workshops and programs, um, laser cut and design, LED designs, 3D printing, robotics, summer camps, therapeutic expression, woodworking, and welding as well. So when we're talking about Burning Man, we're talking about big projects, and they're doing this right here, and they can teach you how to do it too. So I'll see you again in the next hour. Back to you. Uh, Studio, an art gallery. Mm -hmm. Talk about two very relaxing places and quiet sometimes. Quiet, yes, please be quiet. So why not combine both of those and uh, channel that quiet self? Jamie's Local Love is at the Walter Studio in Scottsdale. This all started with an art bus. So I want to show you Walter right here. This is how he looks today. He was very busy last night at an event for the Phoenix Open. And this is where he lives. Check out the Walter Hive. You kind of feel like Alice in Wonderland as you enter with these big doors here. And uh, you know, the whole idea here is breeding creativity and empowerment. And I want to show you a look around here because this is where this all happens. And this is a nonprofit right here in Phoenix. Uh, this is Nan. Uh, Nan, tell me about what happens in this, the Walter Hive right across the street from Gallery Yoga here, all connected. Right, so the Walter Hive is actually the nonprofit arm of the larger Walter project. Mm -hmm. And what we strive to do is empower the community through creative expression in art and technology. So the 
projects are vast. We yeah. have technology projects with laser cutters where groups can come in, youth groups, adults, and create an artistic project on the computer and then it translates to the laser cutter and they can walk out of here at the end of the workshop with a large or small, very creative project. You have some folks working right here. We what do. do you have them working with? This is a workshop that we do and it's called a watercolor uh, story board story mm -hmm. um, project um, and really what we do here is we come up with an intention and they learn some watercolor techniques they're very basic and it's the intention behind it that brings the empowerment nobody here is striving to be a perfect watercolor artist mm -hmm. it, that what the goal is is that they're empowered through their creative expression and then the intention behind it the Walter Hive being a nonprofit works with a lot of other nonprofits tell me who've been who's been in here recently so we do have a lot of community mm -hmm. partners and we try to help our community partners meet the needs of their participants and the population that they are serving. So we have worked closely with the Cancer Support Community of Arizona, mm. Hospice of the Valley, uh, the Foundation for Blind Children, Mulligan's Manor, uh, Scottsdale Boys and Girls Clubs, mm. Um, St. Vincent de Paul and a lot of other organizations that come to us and ask for an opportunity yeah. to come work in our space and have an opportunity to empower and themselves. And people can come visit because you have uh, open doors every third Friday, is it? Third Friday. Uh -huh. Yes, every third Friday we have a big free community event and it includes an opening at our Walter yeah. Art Gallery and the artists change about every six to eight weeks, depending. And so the, it's always new and fresh. And the gallery is open from 6.30 to 9.30. And then this whole Walter Dome space is activated as well with live music, with art projects, with people sharing food with a potluck. And there's also a brewer's club on the premise. <laughs> and they actually... Yes have a creative expression uh -huh. with their latest breweries and their clever names for their brews. And there's a big party that is going on this Saturday. So it's called the 2-2 Two -two Party. 2-2, Two -two, well, guess what? That's Groundhog's Day, February 2nd. So we're celebrating the groundhog. Also, tutus, you can wear your tutus and your top hats. This is happening at the Warehouse Gallery. This is over at 21st Avenue and McDowell. Uh, the Warehouse Gallery, if you want to find more information, we're also going to put some up on our website as well. And they're starting the day with Love Light and Lasers. And that's where you get your yoga class in the morning as well. So many great things happening. Again, we're going to put all of this information on azfamily.com under the Jamie's Local Love tab.